just had the opportunity to give a talk to some undergraduates on the impact of the internet on the administration of justice. I was talking about a few things. One was the impact on lawyers and the way lawyers give legal advice. And secondly was the impact on judges and how the court system might change. And my running theme in life is that lawyers and judges could work differently and because of uh, economic pressures we're facing just now we really must work differently and so I talked for example about very large organizations big banks companies who are now at the stage where they cannot actually afford the amount of legal service they really need and they're looking at new ways of working uh, right down to the citizen the average person who really is suffering from fairly bad access to justice problems I suggest that uh, very many people can't actually afford to seek legal advice from lawyers or take cases to courts. Uh, so whether it's the big company or the small individual, we're in search of new ways of working. And I argue that the internet in a variety of ways provides, uh, I think, the opportunity for us to rethink the way we work. So, for example, if you think of the court system, ask the question, is court a service or a place? Do we need physically to congregate together in the courtroom? Or can we perhaps resolve our differences electronically? And we're seeing the emergence of virtual courts and of online dispute resolution, of new ways of sorting old sorts of problems. Do we really need to come together in old buildings to sort our disputes? I don't think we do. Do we really need, I also ask, to see face-to-face -face our legal advisors and pay by the hour uh, for their advice. Well, what I say to that is that a great deal of what lawyers do, of course, is extremely valuable, but a lot of what they also do is quite routine and repetitive. And so I was looking at the whole idea of online legal service, where one can actually go online and perhaps draft documents by answering a series of questions on screen, or even dip into the collective experience of others who've been through legal problems. If you can sort out a computer problem by asking someone who's faced a similar difficulty, why couldn't you do the same in law was my theme. And so what we're, I think, seeing in the legal profession and in relation to the administration of justice is pretty much what we've seen in many other sectors that faced economic pressures, a drive towards efficiency. We have to find new ways of delivering what I call more for less, more legal service at less cost. That's going to take us away from the handcrafted traditional ways of judges and lawyers coming to decisions to systems, processes, often internet-based ways of working that I think will deliver not perhaps the highest quality of service, but good enough service, but make it far, far more accessible. And so I, I hope my message was at once challenging for potential lawyers in the room who are like thinking, good as me, I thought my, my job was safe. Uh, I think there will be a job for lawyers in the future, but it will be a very different job. Uh, but I think hopefully also encouraging for people who are concerned about issues such as access to justice. If we have complex rules and laws that guide all of us, that indicate what we are obligated to do, what we're prohibited from doing, that empower us too. We should have ways of finding out what the law is, we should have ways of resolving our differences easily, and we should have ways of seeking legal advice that don't completely empty our pockets. So I am very, I think, uh, optimistic about the potential for the internet in relation to the administration of justice. Just in terms of time skills, finally, what I stressed was that the changes I anticipate are not going to happen over the next two years or so, it changes over the next decade. Uh, so it's uh, incremental revolution. We're about to see legal services very much at the hand of the internet.